Herzlich willkommen in Wolfgang Hanau, Germany. This is Otis Q. Pate from Frankfurt Alumni Video, standing here on the Rotenbacher Chelseastrasse, looking towards the former clinic compound here in Hanau, on my way up to Pioneer Concern to see what that area looks like today. July 2014. And we're standing here on the Aschaffenburgerstrasse, looking back towards the exit way from the Autobahn, which led into the Pioneer Concern area. This was also the Autobahn you would use to come from Fliegerhorst Concern. On the other side is also Aschaffenburgerstrasse, and right in front of us still remains the Tony's Pizza. I've known of Tony's Pizza to be at this location at least for the last 20 years. This compound that Tony's Pizza is on has been the home of many different businesses over the years. And right here in that building, the Pastel Building, is a Spitaltech, a game playing station. We're now just a little bit beyond the compound where Tony's Pizza is and across the street here is a popular eatery that has been here for at least 10 years called the Cafe del Sol. The Cafe del Sol is a bar. It's also a place which serves many other foods besides its main courses, which are Mexican. Right next to that is the very popular and looming Dunlop Rubber Company's Smokestack. And the Dunlop Company has been in Hanau at least for 40, if not 50 or more years. To the right of the Dunlop Smokestack and Cafe del Sol, now sits a very popular business, which has been here for probably about six or seven years or so. The Harley Davidson Motorcycle Company's branch in Hanau. This bus is going to Freiheitsplatz in Hanau City Central. In front of us here is the used car lot, which also used to be the compound for different insurance agencies and things like that. The car lot is right across the street from the Tony's Pizza compound. And the Tony's Pizza compound is right behind Pioneer Concern. Both sides of this street is a Schaffenberger Strasse. A Schaffenberger Strasse not only runs past Pioneer Concern, but it also goes well, to a Schaffenberg, as well as to the Autobahn, to Gelnhausen, and other areas of Wolfgang. Wow, this doesn't look too bad considering that this base closed in 2008. Hey, these abandoned buildings are still standing and still looking pretty well kept. I'm surprised. This is a back shot to the area from which we came. And these three structures to the right of us, one is a bus stop, the other is a former business here, car business, and the other is a fast food popular eatery. This bus stop, which has shuffled tens of thousands of former Hanau Milcom residents is the bus stop for number six, 52 and 53 buses. This is of course a German mailbox. And as I was mentioning, these structures up here, the one on the right used to be different businesses. I remember it being a building for motorcycle gear. It is now for rent. 
But the building right next to this, here on the Aschaffenburgerstrasse, the one that looks like a house there on the right, used to be a popular fast food eatery. This was the exit from the building, and I believe this building was a KFC, which was right behind the Sportsfeld housing area. Next to the popular eatery, which I believe was the KFC, was this car lot, which also sold insurance back in the mid 90s, early 90s. And this car lot, which is, well, to the side of Sportsfeld housing area, is still sitting here. I have no idea who they're doing business with, but Jaguar and Land Rover, as well as Volvo, are finding it worthy to still be at this spot. This was the entranceway to the popular fast food eatery, right across the street from Pioneer Concern. Here's another back shot for you from the area from which we came. And right behind me here is the Pioneer Concern bus stop for bus number six, 52 and 53. We're now looking at a side view of Pioneer Concern. And here, that door on the left used to lead upstairs to the library, as well as a whole host of other departments located in that building. Here we stand now in front of Pioneer Concern. And Pioneer Concern closed in 2008. August or September 2008. This military location was first built by Adolf Hitler's regime in 1938 and 1939 but after the allied forces bombing of this region in 1945 the u.s military assumed possession pioneer concern covered 600,000 square meters at this location and was once home to the 104th area support group and 414th Base Support Battalion. That little building peeking out in the back over there on the left, almost out of my frame now, was the Flood Zone Club. And of course it had many other names over time and that building probably also had other uses over time as well. Right up here in front of us now is sometimes a gate which was an entrance and sometimes it was a gate that was an exit depending on the commander's orders. This gate was like a second gate or could be a first gate here on Pioneer Concern. Right behind me here is a full-on view of the former AFES gas station and automotive repair shop. This AFES compound for automotive repair and so forth was right next to the Sportsfeld housing area. Right up here, you could see the full-on view to the entranceway to Sportsfield housing area, or what Germans would say, Sportsfeld housing. And right next to that, right over here on the left, if you were coming out of the housing area to the right, was the gas station. Right up here on this street where the car is passing 
is the direction you would go to head to Wolfgang PX compound and on the way down there if you wanted to you could go to the right right down this street you can go to the right to New Argonner and Old Argonner concerns this is a back shot on the Schaffenberger Strasse and here once again from a different angle is a full-on view of how the Pioneer Concern looks here on the side. I also know in the mid 90s on this compound outside of all the military barracks was a place for billeting and from what I've told also a housing area. We're now standing on a Schaffenberger Strasse, looking directly on to the entrance and exit way of the former Pioneer Concern. Wolfgang Pioneer Concern, 2014. Be sure to join me again for the next episode of Hanau Wolfgang. I'm Otis Q. Pate, here in the home of the Brothers Grimm. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. Take care. <laughs>